What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Harpy's Bane mount that is in the store in the Elder Scrolls Online and how a lot of people in the community are kind of upset with how Zoss has handled this. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course if you enjoy the video hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. There's been a lot of content creators already talking about this and Ephes uh, made a video earlier today, which was a, a great video in my opinion, so if you would like to check that out, I would highly recommend it. But it's a good idea in my opinion to get a lot of people's differing, uh, differing opinions about this, but I think for the most part, all of us kind of feel the same. If you look at the Harpy's Bane mount, it shows that it is an ESO Plus exclusive. But not only do you have to be an ESO Plus member to get this, you also have to purchase it with crowns. So you're looking at, you know, purchasing ESO Plus and then turn around and paying a thousand crowns for the mount. I don't think the mount is really that exceptional. It's not bad looking, but it's not like it's an apex mount or anything like that. It's almost just a reskinned version of what's in the daily rewards for the month. And I think that's really kind of what's upsetting to a lot of people. And it looks like Zoss could be going in this direction to where you're having to have ESO Plus uh, membership and then turn around and pay for something in the store that's just exclusive to those members. And I don't really think that is the way to get players back into purchasing ESO Plus. We know over the years that subscription service to the Elder Scrolls Online, the amount of people that have ESO Plus has dropped off compared to what it was four, five, six years ago, or even earlier than that. And that can be said for a lot of games. You look at World of Warcraft, the amount of players that pay for that monthly subscription to play that game has dropped off drastically compared to what it was in the past. But at the same time, adding things to the ESO Plus membership kind of storefront here and asking players to pay for these items after they have paid for Plus. And you could use, you know, the, the crowns that you get, you know, once you purchase Plus for the month to buy this. I still think is not really a good idea in my opinion. And I understand that they have to sell the ESO Plus. They have to sell things in the store to support the game. That's how any game is, is kind of done these these days you know they have stores any game you play you have a store you can buy stuff uh and that kind of supports the game supports the developers and that's perfectly fine I'll, i think that's kind of the situation that we're in nowadays that's going to kind of be any game that you play it's not something that you're forced to buy but it's something that's there if you want it but at the same time if you're wanting players to get back into the game you're wanting people to you know who that have uh maybe like myself have played since the game has been out and you no know, takes breaks here or there. Uh, people that maybe get into the game, play by themselves a lot, level up a character, and kind of get bored because they play by themselves, and they kind of quit playing. If you want to get those players back into the game, in my opinion, you need to have things like this mount for ESO Plus members, but it be a free reward for those members. And I think they should have done that a long time ago. To me, if you want to get players back into purchasing that ESO Plus membership each month, or by the year, or whatever the case could be, giving these players big rewards for doing that would be the best solution. So let's say if they decided uh, everyone that is a ESO Plus member for six months gets a free Apex mount uh, of, you know, a certain choice. I guess they give you two or three choices. You can pick whichever mount you wanted. Uh, if you've been an ESO Plus member for a year, you get a choice of some of these smaller, medium-sized houses. Some things that players could actually kind of strive towards, you know, buying a subscription, playing the game, and saying, look, I get a free reward each month, every couple months, every half a year, every year, if I continuously or continually purchase this, you know, subscription membership. I think that would be a better idea than actually adding something into the store that is an exclusive to PS Plus members uh, or, you know, ESO Plus members, and then turning around and making them pay for that. And what I was about to kind of go with there is I think of, you know, I play on PlayStation. I know a lot of people there play on Xbox. A lot of people play on console. There are different games out there that if you're a PS Plus member, if you're an Xbox Live member, and of course you have to be, you know, to play a lot of games online. But if you are a member, you know, if you have your subscription to PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live, you get free rewards in certain games. So there may be a, a game out there that says, you know, if you're a Xbox Live member, this certain game's gonna get free rewards for Xbox Live members. No other platform can get it, no matter if that plat uh, game is on every single platform. The same can be said for PlayStation. Both platforms do this. 
And that is a benefit of you being a member of Xbox Live, PlayStation Plus, that you get those free rewards. And I think Za should do the same thing with ESO Plus. But unfortunately, and the reason the community is really unhappy, is that it looks like they're going kind of towards that idea of we're going to make you pay for the membership uh, to play the game, to get these benefits. But also, we're going to have things inside the store that only Plus members can buy. Not that Plus members get for free. And a lot of people feel like that ESO Plus needs a rework anyway because the game has been out for so long it could use a quality of life change. And I think it could. I think they could change up the benefits that you get with ESO Plus. But at the same time, I don't think it's a good idea to go in the direction of making people purchase ESO Plus and then turn around and giving them the option to buy things you know, that is an exclusive item to ESO Plus because a lot of people are not going to do that. If they're already paying for the membership, they're not really wanting to pay for exclusive items. Now, in saying that, there is probably a few people out there that agree with this, that like this idea, and I can kind of understand the point of, of why they would like, you know, if I'm an ESO Plus member, I have the option to buy this and, you know, kind of be an exclusive reward. But at the same time, I think if these rewards were free, that a lot of people would come back and purchase ESO Plus that may not have if the rewards were, you know, something like we have now or no rewards there whatsoever. So leave me a comment your thoughts. Let me know. If you think this is a bad sign for the game, if you think this is something, maybe just a one-time thing, it's kind of a one-off thing that they're doing now and they're not going to do it in the future, or is it something that you're worried about that may happen, you know, continuously in ESO? Uh, you know, a lot of times we get these little statues, you know, if you're an ESO Plus member that you can put in your home, you get those once a month for free. I think that needs to be what Zoss needs to do going forward is if they're going to give items away, make sure they're free if you're an ESO Plus a member. Not something that, you know, is an exclusive item that you have to buy. So like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.